Hey guys, Pete Weintraub here. I'm a permanent weight loss expert. Today's video, podcast, wherever you're ingesting this, is about how when you say you don't have enough time to work out, eat healthy, and take care of yourself, that's absolute bull. Before I get into that, I just want to tell you a little bit about me and what's going on with my day. So it's another beautiful day here on Long Island, and after I'm done making this for you, this video, podcast, whatever, I'll be heading out for a long walk with my girlfriend and my dog. This time of year is absolutely perfect. Not too warm, not too cold, and although April showers are supposed to bring May flowers, the vegetation looks fine to me without all that rain. Anyhow, let's talk about one of the most common excuses when it relates to weight loss. Time. More specifically, feeling you don't have the time to exercise, eat healthy, and all that. Before I show you how you certainly do, and how that excuse is the adult version of the dog ate my homework, I want to preface this message by saying that that's absolute bull. Again, now I'm not saying you're not busy, and I'm not saying you don't have other responsibilities, but your health has to come first. If you neglect yourself, then all of the people and the responsibilities that depend on you will fall by the wayside as your health and your functionality deteriorates. Now, let's pick ourselves up off the ground and dig into how you really do have time. There are 168 hours in a week. Let's say you work 40 hours a week, a pipe dream for many, I know, and you sleep 49 hours per week. That's 7 hours per night, and yes, I know, that's also a pipe dream for many. That's 89 overall hours a week, and obviously some more of that may be allocated towards work versus sleep or whatever. You get the gist. So you still have 79 hours remaining. To play devil's advocate, let's say you're a parent and you have younger kids that need to be chauffeured around to sports practice, music lessons, and tutoring. Let's say that's another 28 hours per week or an additional 4 hours per day. Again, these are averages. I'm sure there are weeks where things are more demanding than this, but bear with me. We're down to 51 hours left in the week for you to relax, decompress, spend time with your significant other, if you have one, and take care of yourself. Want to hear the most amazing part? If you want to lose weight for good, if you want to get healthy, and if you never want to look back, then you only need four hours per week to tend to your health. Martyrs rejoice. No, I didn't misspeak. I wouldn't have said that unless I meant it. Four hours per week is all you need to get in effective workouts, prepare healthy meals and snacks, and take care of your health. How can you do that in such a short amount of time? Glad you asked. Starting with nutrition, take one hour on Sundays, which is a day most people have off and relax, and one hour on Wednesday evenings. You can use my healthy recipe book and find some recipes that you like and prep healthy meals and snacks in bulk on those days. You can find the link to get the recipe book in the bio. Simply divide up the meals into simple portions in Tupperware. Put it in the fridge and then grab and go as needed. Next, the notion of having to spend hours in a gym to get ripped is also bull. With fitness methodologies like Tabata, high intensity interval training, and FIT, you can get a great workout in in as little as 10 minutes. Let's say you do four 30 minute interval training workouts per week, which equates to another two hours per week. That's exactly four hours. That's all you need, seriously. That's it. And by the way, if you want to get familiar with interval training and you want to test your fitness, go to weightlossbypeat.com slash progress tracker. So how do you ensure you get this all in? You may have the best intentions of getting your workouts done in the evenings or prepping your meals at night, but life keeps getting in the way. Late projects at work, one of the kids has a stomach bug, your husband or wife wants to have a quick romp in the linen closet. I know, shit happens. Which is why you make sure you make your health the first priority of your day. When you wake up, hey guys, Pete Weintraub here. I'm a permanent weight loss specialist. Thanks so much for watching the video. If you can do me a favor, please click the link below and subscribe to the channel. Every day I'm going to be popping out new content that will enable you to learn more about nutrition, fitness, and mindset as it relates to permanent weight loss. Now, there's a million programs out there that talk about how to lose weight. There are shows on TV like Extreme Weight Loss and The Biggest Loser. The problem is all of these show short-term fixes that aren't exactly healthy either. I'm more about doing this in a healthy, sustainable way so that you can achieve permanent results. So you only have to do this once. So what I'd like to gift you, if you're interested, is check out my website at Weight Loss by Pete. There's going to be an opt-in on the page where you can get a free report detailing the five strategies that I personally used to lose 100 pounds, 
keep it off for good, and now my mission is to help as many people as I can to do the same without the research, trial and error, and years spent plateauing, not knowing what to do from a nutritional, fitness, or even mental standpoint. So check that out. I'd love to gift that to you. And feel free to check out the channel and any upcoming videos. Feel free to go back and look at my older ones. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll talk to you tomorrow. Go to the bathroom, brush your teeth, and get your workout in. Shower, get dressed, prepare a healthy breakfast, grab your healthy snacks and meals for the day, and carry on. It's that simple, guys. Any more excuses? Didn't think so. Until tomorrow.